Mortimer here with another Grand Arena video against Beast Mode, my opponent this time. Uh, let's see what he's got. He's got a Grievous team, uh, Relic 5 with the Relics on B1. Very defensive player, not very offensive. Um, Geos for his fleet. Those are his only two Relics, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, he's got some Shock T clones, got CLS, uh, Geos. Um, let's get in and see the defenses. I placed a Newt Separatist team with Short Trooper, and then I put placed uh, my Geos, my very, very weak Geos. Um, just unlocked GBA so that I could have a weak Geo team that would draw out a stronger uh, team for my opponents. And then we've got Karth, Old Republic, and my Padme. I don't think he can get through my Padme with what he's got. So I placed that on defense, and then there's Junk in the back here. So, uh, Junky Phoenix, and then an Akbar team. So, um, his fleets aren't the greatest, so I pl placed Chimera with uh, my uh, Ahsoka, Anakin, and Houndstooth. Um, I thought it's going to be kind of hard for him to get through that if he places his top fleet on defense. Uh, then he surprised me with Shock T clones. I wasn't expecting that again. And then I was expecting the Geos. Um, so I had a plan in place, but I had to change all my plans here around that Shock T team. And then he's got his fairly weak Night Sister team. And then he's got his strongest Arena team, his Grievous team. Um, he's got Newt in it as well. So we'll go in against this Grievous team. I was originally going to take Jedi Knight Revan, but decided to change it up. Um, because I thought I might need Jedi Knight Revan against those clones. Uh, so I took in my Knight Sisters. Um, we're gonna dispel to get the, uh, so that we're not hitting people other than B2 right away. I would I kinda underestimated how fast uh, Grievous was there. So I'm surprised he went right away. Shouldn't be an issue still, but we've exhausted both of our revives. Um, Let's start to build up health and protection on DACA and Massage, or just health, I should say. Um, and, wow, he's killing us fast for only R5. But shouldn't be an issue still. Um, the debuffs can be a problem. So let's just keep getting some revives to build up health, get our revive. Um, still got Talia down, so... When, Probably should have just done a basic there, um, but didn't really matter. We got him down, so we got Talia back. And got lucky there. Grievous could have hit Daka and stunned her, and then it could have all been over. <laughs> um, so this is not going as well as I had hoped, um, or as well as it normally does. Um, you can see I got Plague on Grievous, which was kind of unfortunate because it put Mark on a different uh, character. And I'm not stunning with Daka well for some reason so see if we can get Newt down not quite and then Grievous stuns Daka and then B1 dies and then uh, Grievous takes a bunch of turns in a row because B1 died from Plague there so that was kind of unlucky um, but I could have played it better as well um, but now we've got to change all our plans around um so we'll take a look. I was going to take my uh, CLS team against the Night Sisters, but we got to figure out a way to clean up this Grievous team. And it's still got Newt, which is annoying because he's got two, he's got a revive in him too. So um, that's an, an extra turn for Grievous that I would hope not to have. So we'll, uh, my Jedi Knight Revan squad doesn't need the full squad, so we'll split off Basila and Ezra and Hoda to at least take out uh, Newt, and he already got through Ezra's bonus protection, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. I'm surprised. Like, I've faced other R5 Grievouses that don't seem to hit nearly this hard, so I'm, I'm kind of surprised by this, because he's really hitting like he's R7. But um, we want to make sure we can get through Newt, so rather than paying our extortion, we'll just knock him out there. And then we can just get rid of his protection so that he's a little bit easier to clean up after this. But, 
All right, so we'll still have a lone grievous. Um, I could take my CLS to take out Grievous, but if I do that, I want to be able to take out that Night Sister team with something else. So we'll go in with my Bounty Hunters to see if they can take out this Night Sister team. Unfortunately, I put a Django on defense, so this is going to be a hindered uh, effort. Um, we'll get the taunt. Django is really great because he can ignore the taunt. Um, and he just hits hard, but uh, I don't have his Zetas to make him like the ultimate Night Sister counter, but um, but I'm hoping that Boss can just tank this and we can just take them out. Um, so remove some turn meter from Daka. We'll throw some mines. Getting close to the contract. Try to get that. We got a took out Daka once. A couple more hits towards the contract. Now Greedo stunned, a couple hits towards the contract, now we got our contract, and we're going to try for a knockout of Tal's in there. I didn't quite get it, and of course she comes back and takes out Boba, and Boba's gone. And that was our big plan, was killing these Night Sisters with Annihilate so that they couldn't revive, but now we got to go back to plan B, where... We take them out the old-fashioned way and go through the revives. Um, and we don't have one of our bigger damage dealers, even though he's only gear 9. Um, actually, the rest of this team is gear 8, other than Bosk. So. Um, Dengar's crucial, because he's got the, the mines to heal us up. But with only these two characters, I don't think we'll be able to get through. Um, because zombies taunt. Our zombie's going to get faster. We don't have the damage to get through them. And they've got so many revives and everything. Um, at this point, just kind of hoping to take out one of them and let it time out. But um, I don't think that's even going to happen. So, um, Luckily, Bosk is super tanky. But though I don't think those thermals will do enough damage to knock one of them out. So they took out Bosk, so then I quit out. But... Um, then I thought about it for a little while and then realized I had an extra team, assuming he doesn't have a super strong team. So I just threw in my, uh, my murder bears, Ewoks. Um, I know they can take out Bone Grievous squads. Um, I don't have a Zeta and Chirpa in this GAC yet. And you saw the GP was like 41,000, so... They're all like gear seven and eight and five stars or four stars. So I thought, well, we'll give it a try. I can't lose anything on it, but um, they're not doing any damage, which I kind of expected, but um, and then two hits and we're gone. So then I decided since I do have an extra squad, I can just bank on there being nothing tough in the back and just take CLS in to take out Grievous here real quick. Um, this one should be a really easy ba battle. Yeah, Grievous didn't get a turn, so. All right, terrible banners. I don't like failing, and now I've failed twice in this matchup, so that's kind of unfortunate. Then we'll just take in Darth Revan to take all these Night Sisters. Probably should have just done this in the first place, but we'll get shock up, then get some fear and some debuffs. And then we'll fear the whole team. We can take out Asajj, throw the grenade to exhaust their revives, get, uh, take out Daka, take out Talzin, and then take out Zombie. Hopefully... 40 banners, so not great, but um, then, yeah, nothing too strong in the back here. We got Ewoks, which I was planning on, and then Tarkin with Newt, TIE Fighter Pilot, and, yeah, Royal Guard, all that stuff, and Stormtrooper, I think, so weird team, don't see that much, but we'll take in my backup plan. I had originally planned on using... Um, 
Night Sisters on this Geo team, but I needed to use Palpatine instead. So I start out with the AoE from Vader and then throw the Saber so that it dispels those debuffs. And then we, our whole team gets turn meter and goes first. Um, tried to get a bunch of stuns with Palpatine. Didn't get as many as I would have liked there, but um, got the Isolate on the Brute. And then I'm trying to make sure I've got Poggle and Geo Brute Alpha ability blocked so they can't do their dispels. So Tarkin's gone. He did his job. All he needed to do was um, spread some debuffs and then do one AoE um, to push back their turn meter so I can just get get ter more turn meter train rolling. Now I'm spreading shock with and with uh, Palpatine and spreading different debuffs. The Treya dazes, trying to make sure everybody has shock. Um, we have Fracture, the one with the most turn meter, push back turn meter. Um, Poggle has the the dispel, so I wanted to make sure we got him out or got him fractured, and then that looks better for stuns. So we'll get those shocks back around. Palpatine does double two turn stun when he stuns people or characters with shock. So um, it's nice spreading those around. Plus he gains that bonus turn meter on his basic. So we we'll get the stun with. Um, Throw on there, try to get some more stuns. We don't uh, want Geo Brood Alpha to get a turn, so we'll, we'll eventually pass turn meter to Treya here, I want to say, and then we'll try to ability block, but we take him out, and that's perfectly fine too. Um, then it's just a matter of taking them out one by one here, um, trying to maximize banners. Make sure that, or see if we can get Thrawn a couple extra turns uh, so that he can turn his, or pass turn meter over and get protection up for the others, but not quite. 55 banners, not terribly efficient. Got a cool quest reward because that was my 10th battle with Treya and Grand Arena, so um, pretty good rewards from that. And then we'll just make sure we can take out this clone team. I don't like to underestimate clones. Um, they go fast and they hit hard when they're all together at least. Uh, and Shakti lead is really good for them too. So you can see they already got through most of my protection on two of them. I've still got Savior left to be triggered, so I'm not too worried. But um, I took Old Ben just for that taunt to make sure that we're not going to be worried at all during this matchup. Because if I do lose this matchup, I don't think I've got anything in that could come close to clearing this team so um so we took out uh i take out shock t first because she gives so much turn meter and then i take out fives and then i take out the one with the most turn meter sometimes rex depending on how far into the battle we are um just because if we're close to his annihilate or rexalate ability then i want to take him out as soon as possible but um then we'll see if we can recover health and protection with that uh, mark and terrible banners again, 56. His defense is doing a good job against me, or I'm just doing a terrible job against his defense. So um, I planned on using Kira Nest for the Ewoks, and right now there's a feat for using Maul uh, with Kira, so we'll just throw him in figure I've already lost enough banners this matchup um if if he can full clear me he's probably gonna win so I may as well get the feet no matter what um and I like I said I don't think he'll be able to clear my um either my fleet or my uh Padme team so um just send them in Maul and Kira do nothing Kira's there just for the leadership ability and to die off um, once Nest is seven stars, I think this will be an easy solo without Kira, but her, her health is just too low right now, um, to go without Kira. So the, the main goal there is to, to have her regenerate her protection every time she hits one of them so that she doesn't get one shot once, once her bonus protection is off, um, by Wicket or something like that. So, um, Doing a little targeting help, trying to get her on to Elder, but it doesn't really help that much. Basically just waiting for them all to 
get enough debuff or get enough buffs on them so that we can ramp up our damage and one shot them. And there they go. So would have gotten sixty banners, got fifty six because we brought in Maul and he's gear seven or eight or so and five stars I think so. I don't think he has mods on him either. But um don't have much left for this Tarkin team. So I'm forced to use my weak first order. Um Kylo Ren is gear eleven, but no Zetas. Um not well modded. <laughs> um and the rest of them are around gear seven to eight. Or probably all gear eight at this point. Um I've got them all pretty poorly modded as well. I'm trying to take out Tarkin because I don't like him pushing back our turn meter. And I can't take out uh, Dooku at this point, but he looks a lot tankier than the rest of them. So, unfortunately, we're stuck on um, Stormtrooper. We'll pass turn meter over to Kylo so that we can get closer to um, getting turn meter up for us again. And Crew already had most of his turn meter already, so there was no real point in giving him it. Now we'll get some stuns and our taunt back up. Unfortunately, we lost first order officer, so not not looking so great. Um, uh, Dooku's counterattacks kind of hurt when we do those AOEs with Kylo and with Phasma, um, but I needed the extra turn meter for them. So we'll try for a stun on Tarkin because he had a lot of turn meter, and I don't want him to push back all our turn meter. But then we're going to take out Royal Guards so that he doesn't do his auto taunt anymore. Um, I, Dooku's out of stealth, so I want to take him out. But I don't think one—I don't think my First Order Executioner is strong enough to one-shot him. So I waited for the Kylo stun uh, so that we could hit him without him counterattacking. So now that he's gone, this matchup feels a lot better. Um, I can do AoEs as much as I want. And then I just want to take out Tarkin as soon as possible. Tried for a stun on the uh, TIE fighter pilot. He's actually hitting pretty hard. Uh, so we'll try to take him out. Mm, trying for a big hit because Kylo had buff immunity, I think. Oh, while well, he was almost dead, so we just wanted to heal him up. But 50 banners, pretty terrible. <laughs> Um, but we got through it on one hit, and I don't think I had anything else to take out that team. Uh, scraping the bottom of the barrel there for a while. Um, now we got my Falcon Fleet, so I feel pretty comfortable about this. Um, I don't like to undersize too much against Geos, because Geos just have quite a few decent ships that can really cause problems for some fleets. Uh, and they've got their Houndstooth too, so I want to make sure we can chew through it before... They take some of ours out. I'm not used to putting Biston, Biston in the starting lineup because I'm, I normally have Houndstooth in there, so I um, don't really know how to play this, but I don't really face Geo ships that much either. So, um, so far, so good. We'll take in a reinforcement. I don't want to make that mistake again. Um, trying to get protection back up on bigs by target locking them as much as possible. Um, but they are hitting pretty hard, so that's kind of, they took out my bigs, and that's my only tank on this team, so hopefully we can take them all out before they get any of their damage dealers in here and just wipe out <laughs> all my uh, attackers. So, um, yeah, Bosk went down pretty quickly, and then we'll take out Slave 1, and then we'll work on Soldier and could do the AoE and just take him out, but I tried to get cute here and do a little healing. Get Biston his heal, but then I was trying to look at the turn meter on their Tarkin because I was no knowing they were going to bring in a reinforcement if they could, but uh, unfortunately they did, and then we're stuck trying to take out this hyena bomber now instead and now we don't have protection on Biston again probably the same result 61 banners um just took a little bit longer than it needed to so um at this point they hadn't attacked yet um so kind of just waiting on that and we'll come back and see after we collect our feats 
and I think we completed all of the feats this season, so, um, inefficient though, so, whatever, um, coming back to see the results, he, in one shot, both of my teams in the top zone, not too big of a surprise, he took two battles on my fleet and could not clear it, so that was good. And he two shot my Karth team, and then he did not even attempt my Padme team. So, got a win, twelve and zero, great. All right, we'll switch over to my alt account, Ramelrow, uh, ranked number fifty right now. Before I attacked, uh, with about fifteen hours left to attack, we'll go into it. See my opponent. Oh, first time facing a Jedi Knight Revan squad. So he does have Jolie Zeta and two Zetas on Jedi Knight Revan. Um, my Geos should be able to take care of that team if he puts it on defense, if I keep my Geos for offense. Um, pretty focused roster here so, so far, so seems like he knows what he's doing. Um, we did get wins the first two rounds, and we'll go in and see what it looks like. I placed my Hera team, um, Phoenix team in the front zone this time instead of my um, Geos, and then I put Padme down um, in the bottom of the front zone, and then I put Palpatine down in the bottom back zone. So um, basically, I wanted to make sure that I full clear here because then I can make Kyber for sure. I'm not going to be top 10, so it doesn't really matter if I doesn't matter as much if I win, but um, I left my Hound's Tooth on defense here along with my light side ships just to make it a little more difficult for him, If he, assuming he gets back there. So um, he chose to put an Akbar team with Han and Chewie and then Chirrut and K2SO. So that can could be a kind of annoying team for the low GP it is, but Han and Chewie is always annoying. Uh, they'll put the guard up. But I think my bounty hunter should be able to handle that if I need to. Uh, he put a Newt team with Spy, Crew, and then Mission and Zalbar. So he does have double taunt there. Um, should be kind of annoying team too with the two turn stun. I assume he's got that. Uh, ability to that point, yeah, so, um, we'll just take in my Jedi here, um, so, just in case he does have Jedi Knight Revan in the back, um, let's see, what's my, we'll go here, and then, this is the team I typically use here, I believe, yeah, I don't have any other Jedi, so, um, see how it goes. Again, not trying any special feats or anything like that, just trying to get a full clear so we can get into Kyber here. So, um, I feel like we can do an AoE first, and then maybe we can do a big hit on mission and just take her out. Perfect. And then we can... Try to take out Newt. Perfect. And then we'll push back some turn meters. And we'll call Yoda to assist. We'll spread some buffs. Um, we'll take out Kylo Ren. We'll see if we can take out Zalbar. We'll pay into the extortion. We'll put up a taunt, why not? Um, I don't want to get countered, but I'm going to. Doesn't matter. Take out Zalbar, and hopefully Spy doesn't one-shot me. Okay, perfect. Um... We'll pay in... And then this should be it. Okay, 61 banners. 
pretty easy win there. Um, easier than I anticipated. I don't like facing new teams. I know they usually steal banners from everybody, but um, we'll see what we got back here. Oh, that's ugly. That's exactly what I didn't want to see. I mean, my Geos should be able to handle this, but this is like a hardcore counter to Geos. <laughs> so um, that could get a little bit rough here. Um, let's see the speed on Bastila. Mm, 201. No Zeta on Palpatine, so it should be fine. Um, let's go in against the front team first. Um, hopefully my bounty hunters can handle this. Um, I don't know why I still have this loaded in as, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Django lead. <laughs> it definitely needs to be Bosque lead. Um, yeah, we'll go full size. It's overpowered, but again, Han and Chewie, I just don't like to underestimate them. And I don't think my bounty hunters would be able to survive against um, that team on bottom there. So Chewie's going to dispel, so I'm just going to go towards the contract, see if we can take out um, Churret sooner rather than later. So there's the dispel. Since I don't have a second Zeta on Bosk, I wanted to make sure that we keep his taunt up as long as possible. Um, keep focusing on the fets. I don't mind that at all. Now we can get the taunt up. I don't think they have another dispel on their team. Although that's not fun either. So let's get rid of Han. And then... Let's get rid of the cleanses from Akbar. And let's go towards the contract. Contract. Um, oh, that was too big of a hit. Mm, can't go towards the contract now. Now we can. And we got it. So let's get some debuffs up there, get a taunt up. That was unfortunate that he died. And he's got tenacity up, so it's not going to do anything. And 57 banners, not bad. Okay, I don't even care about his ships yet. I just want to get this team gone. Here goes nothing. I mean, I shouldn't be afraid of this without the Palpatine Zeta, but I just don't like Bastila. <laughs> I mean, I, I like her when I use her, but... Um, let's go ahead and go after Palpatine right away. Get him ability blocked so we don't get stunned. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't have been afraid of this team, but um, two AOEs from them, so that's not great. Maybe I can survive long enough to get a Brood Alpha hit in. Nope. 59 banners, not bad. We'll take it. And we made Kyber. Perfect. So, I mean, if I win this one, I'll be 11 and 1 on this account, and I'm just making Kyber. So it kind of shows how much feats I actually do in these. Um, lower leagues here, so um, not a scary fleet. 
what did I set on? Um, oops. I guess I set my Akbar on defense. <laughs> so that's a mistake. So we might go in a little heavier here. Um, that should be plenty. Yeah, I don't see that being a problem. Um, let's get this dude out, or girl, or whatever you want to say about her. Um, so far, so good. I mean, I, I wasn't afraid of losing here, but the banners are what I was somewhat concerned about because we don't get the protection up as much. But, all right. Guess I didn't have to worry at all. 61 banners. Probably should have gone more undersized there. Um, that's a full clear. So 12, 11 banners. Not bad for efficiency. My opponent still hasn't attacked. Let's see if we got any feats. We'll claim that. Great. Good dev Zetas at this level. Um, we'll claim that. Perfect. We'll claim this. Great. We got to do some squad arena battles. Um, yeah, and a bunch of other ones that I don't I just don't have the characters to do any of these. So um but yeah, pretty good season for my first one. So we'll see you next time. And come back in the morning to find my opponent has attacked. He full cleared me and beat me by one banner. One attack on my Phoenix. One on my Padme. One on my Emperor Palpatine. And one on my ships. He got all my reinforcements out. So it's too bad. Get a second loss on this account. But uh, we'll see you next season.